Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this your daily go get number 198 for April 21st, 2015. Being able to say no, how, how easy is it for you to say no? Some people find it really hard to do. You know, people ask them, can they do something for them or ask them for a favor or whatever. And they can't say no. Some people just can't do it. It makes them feel guilty or feel bad to say no. Especially when they're in a the position to help, I guess. And sometimes people can't say no even if they're not in a position to say. I mean, if they're not in a position to help, but they know that they're resourceful and they can find a way to help. I guess I guess it all depends on exactly where you are with a person or with a situation. Because I don't think that being able to say no just for the sake of saying no is a good thing or a good way to be. But I think that if you really don't have it like that or, or it's really going to inconvenience you or if somebody doesn't deserve it, then, yeah, you should say no. A lot of times people will say yes to something even if they don't want it or even if they know it's going to get them in trouble or, or they know it's going to cause trouble for somebody else. Those are the times when I think that you have to exercise the most self-control and make that decision and make sure that the decision that you make is the right one. Now, when when it's a situation where you know a person would say yes to you and they have proven themselves to say yes to you and they need a favor and you are in a position to help them out, then by all means, I think that you should make sure that you represent for them. But when, when some people know that you will represent for them no matter what, no matter how they've done you, no matter what wrong they've done to you, no matter how much they've been backdooring you, no, no matter how much they've been biting your back out, See, that makes you a target. You know, th those people are like a flea to you. They just jumping on you, and then they sucking blood, and then they jump on the next person and whoever that can help them. So that's when it's time for you to get your discipline up. That's when it's time for you to be able to say no. Say no and mean no. Now, you don't want to say no just to be mean, but you have to do whatever, whatever is necessary to be able to protect yourself emotionally. It's nothing worse than saying yes to somebody and then coming back and regret that shit because you know that the person that you said yes to just took advantage of you. Now, in a, in a case with children, it gets a little bit dicey. It gets a little bit more dicey because some parents will feel a, a really big guilt about the relationship that, that the children came out of. Let's say it's a failed marriage or what they consider to be a failed marriage or or, or mommy and daddy not living together no more, not, or not seeing each other no more. And they feel like the kids are affected by that sort of thing. A lot of people will stay in a relationship or a marriage or whatever because of the kids, and they think that they're doing something good for the kids. So what I'm getting at is when, when, they, when, when, a, when a parent is harboring guilt about their relationship failing, Two things sometimes happen. One thing that can happen is that if you're immature, if you're an immature parent and you want to play the, you want to play favorites when it comes to the child, you want the child to, to choose you as the favorite over the mother or the father, well then you're setting yourself up for the kids to start playing the mom and the dad. They're going to start playing them. You know, kids don't mean to put the mom and the, and the dad against each other. But children want stuff. So they figure, well, look, I want a new bike. I want a new PlayStation. I want a new new iPad. I want a new phone. I want this, that, and the third. And they'll pick, and any parent that will get it, then that will be their favorite parent. And so they'll play parents against each other like that. So that's when you have to know when to say no to your children for their own good. You know, because you don't want your children to start becoming opportunistic and spoiled in that way. It's not a good look. Not only that, but you need to get with the other parent so this, these things don't happen. The other thing that can happen is that just because of your guilt, even independent of wanting the child to play, play fa favorites, but because of your guilt, you feel like you've put the child through, through a, a traumatic experience, maybe even more traumatic than the experience that you're going through because of the breakup. But you compound that with the breakup feeling like you've you failed um, or deprived the child of an opportunity to come from a two-parent family and now you decide to give the children or the child everything that they want. 
So instead of giving them the things that they can use, like like um, um, a positive learning experience, an explanation, um, a good reasoning about the way relationships work, and knowledge and security that regardless of how the two parents feel about each other, that they both love you and you're not going to suffer for anything. <laughs> so, you know, these, these are the kind of things that can happen. So you have to know when to say no. You know, if, if, you're, like, if you're at work or something like that and you have a, a supervisor or a manager or, or, or co-workers that depend on you, of course, you may say yes a lot because, you know, you're, you're dependable and you are um, you, you're skilled or whatever. And, you know, you want to keep up your go-to guy status. Remember that that can weigh um, heavily on you, too, and come to bite you in the ass in the long run. That's all I wanted to holler at y'all about today. You, sometimes you have to be able to say no. Sometimes you have to, be, you have to make yourself say yes even when you want to say no. You know, you kind of have to live and learn a little bit. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and say no if you need to say no, but say yes if you're in a position to say yes, and the person deserves to be said yes to. Other than that, nah, you need to tuck that no. And one thing, I mean, you need to tuck that yes. And, and another thing before we get out of here is, sometimes you have to Indian give a yes. Sometimes somebody might catch you off guard and you say because you, you say yes because you're so used to saying yes that it just slips out. Sometimes you got to rethink that and go back and be like, look, I know I said yes, but I wasn't really thinking. And I hadn't I didn't realize that that um, helping you out with this thing is going to cause so much trouble. So I'm, I, I'm, I got to bail out. Some people won't do that because they already they feel like they already made a promise. A promise to me means that you said I promise. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow and I'll holler at you. UrbanTherapyWithSun.com. Go to the website, check it out. Don't forget about the spring cleaning event this May 16th. The thing is going to be off the chain. But trust me, it's going to be better than the first one. It ain't. That's not easy to do. YouTube.com forward slash Sun752. And don't forget about the Daily Go Getemism show each and every day at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call the numbers 347-677-1533. And I holler at me every day, every day. This is, that's how we get this thing in. And I will get with y'all tomorrow. Get with y'all tomorrow.